The purpose of this video is just to go through a couple of examples where um, you might want to determine whether or not two triangles are possible. Um, again, we're looking at situations um, where you're given two, two sides and an angle that's not included between them. And let's say for, for one of the triangles, for one of the problems, you, you've been given the angle 48 degrees and you find the second angle to be 50 degrees. And forget about the side lengths for the moment. But at the moment that you've found a second side, uh, second angle measurement here, you need to calculate what 180 minus that angle measurement is. Again, what we're thinking about here is that your calculator is telling you 50 degrees, but it might also want to tell you 130. What you have to do is kind of abandon the 50 degrees for a second. You know that you can find the third angle measurement, the third side length for this first triangle. But is the second triangle possible? Well, here's the information that you need. You take your 48 and your, I'm sorry, and your 130 and you add them together and that would give you a total of 178 degrees in a, in the, in a triangle so far with just the two angles and you have to admit that the third angle could be quite small with a measurement of two degrees. So really what you're doing here is you're taking that, that first angle that you find, find the measure of, subtract it from 180, add that to your given angle measurement, the first one that you were given, and if it's less than 180 degrees, you're, you're going to have a second triangle situation. Let's see a couple of others. What if you're given a 20 degree angle and you find the second angle is 65 degrees? Again, your calculator would love to tell you that not just 65 degrees, but 180 minus 65, which is 115, is a possibility. Well, when you add that to 20, you get 135 degrees. And you know that it's possible to make a triangle with another 45 degree angle there. So you have two triangles possible. Let's go to the, oops, look at a couple of other examples. What if the angle measurement you're given is 100 degrees and the second angle that you find is 35? Now, you're thinking about, is it possible that there's another triangle? 180 minus 35 is 145. And when you add that to the 100 degrees, you're over the um, 180 degrees allowed in a triangle, so this is a one triangle situation. There's no second triangle possible. Uh, let's say you've, you've been given an 80 degree angle, and the next angle that you find is 75 degrees and you could then find the third angle and have the one triangle. Let's just check though. What is 180 minus 75? 105 degrees. And now we're going to think about it. When you add these two together, you'd be over the limit for the sum of the angles in a triangle. So there's once again proof that there's only one, whoops, triangle no second one is possible. And I'm hoping that just by, by l focusing on the angle measurements, I, I realize that we're finding side lengths at the same time. I want this to be a little less cumbersome for you. If you're given a 55 degree angle and you find the second angle is 70 degrees and you're wondering if it's possible to have a, another triangle, Okay, you would find the third angle for this, and you've got your three side lengths, that's your one triangle. Is it possible to have two? Um, you take 180 minus 70, and again, this is because your calculator would love to tell you, well, it could be 70, it could be 110. Whoops. It could be 110, 180 minus 70. And now you look at these two and add them together, and you get 165 and you realize it's entirely possible that there's two triangles. The third angle here would be 15 degrees. So we're going to say here um, two triangles possible. So please keep in mind that for the law of signs, it's possible that there's no solution, uh, one, one solution, one triangle. 
and it's possible sometimes that there's going to be two possible triangles. This has been examples of trying to determine whether or not two triangles are possible with given information.